Hey guys, Dr. Betts here coming at you with another great chemistry video. I'm back in my lab coat, ready to go. So let's get it done today. What are we gonna talk about? Catalysis. There are two types of catalysts, two basic types, chemical catalysts and biological catalysts. Now, what's a catalyst? What does it do? Catalysts speed up chemical reactions but they don't get consumed in the reaction. They can repeat that process over and over and over and over and over again, making the reaction go faster, but not being consumed themselves in the reaction. What's an example of a biological catalyst? Enzymes. What's an example of a chemical catalyst? Well, metals sometimes can be catalysts in reactions, but it doesn't have to be a metal. Today's catalyst, the chemical catalyst we're using, potassium iodide. The biological catalyst we're using today, something's very simple, yeast. Yes, yeast, that beautiful thing that helps us make wonderful breads. Yeast can help catalyze a chemical reaction. It'll take hydrogen peroxide, convert it to oxygen. The chemical catalyst we're going to use will do the same thing. We'll be able to observe this creation of oxygen using regular, ordinary dish soap. Here is the wonderful chemist, Dr. Betts. A little bit of hydrogen peroxide, that's 3%. That's the safe one. That's the one that you can use at home with your children if you want to. Only use 3%. I'm going to add that to the old Erlenmeyer here. Put that safely out of the way. Get that hydrogen peroxide out of the way too. Now what? Oh, a little bit of food coloring. Yeah, why not, right? A little bit of blue food. Hey, you spilled some there, pal. Be careful. A little bit of blue food coloring. Shake it up. And here we go with a little bit of uh, dish soap, just so we can see the bubbles when they form. This will act to capture the bubbles and give, give us some nice soap suds for those oxygen bubbles. Here comes the catalyst. This is potassium iodide, nice and solid. A little bit in there. Shake it up. And nothing happens. Hmm. I'll add more catalyst. Ha <laughs> ha, here I go, more catalyst. Give it a heaping helping. There we go. Now something will happen. And not yet. Okay, what did I do wrong? Five minutes later, let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. We got some bubbles coming in now. Nice. Pretty cool. There's some soap bubbles. That is oxygen coming out of this reaction. Now, remember, I'm using 3% hydrogen peroxide. I'm not using anything really concentrated. The bubbles are coming out pretty fast. They just don't appear to be because not explosive. It's just a nice steady stream of bubbles. And as you can see, it's, it's reacting fairly quickly. So now let's compare two different concentrations of hydrogen peroxide. The left one will be 3%. The right one will be double the concentration at 6%. It stands to reason then that the one on the right should react twice as fast. So let's see what happens. Now get out of the way there, Dr. Betts. Let's let the magic happen. Here we go. As you can see, the 6% is indeed reacting faster. But and here come the 3%. You can see it starting to work now. And the 6% is, is gushing over, but the 3% is starting to produce a lot of oxygen. Now here's just a close-up of the oxygen being produced. As you can see, it, the reactions are going fairly quickly. It just doesn't seem that way when you're standing from a distance. But when you get up close, you can really see it. Now we're going to just try some baker's yeast. This is literally the same yeast you use to make uh, homemade bread with a little bit of warm water to activate it. There we go, some food coloring to make it look all pretty. Oh, a little more, of course. Here we go, some dish soap, just like before. Here comes the baker's yeast. Oh, no, sorry, here comes the hydrogen peroxide. I already put the baker's yeast in. This is 3% hydrogen peroxide going in. As you can see, it's already starting to foam up. I had to actually stop adding it because it was going to overflow the container because of all the soap suds that were coming up after that. That's really cool how fast this uh, yeast will work, how fast the biological catalyst will get it done. Here's 6% hydrogen peroxide. Nice, look at that. That's really cool. I love this reaction. love how it uh, spills over some soap suds like that. That's To me, that's just really cool. 30% hydrogen peroxide. This is chemistry grade hydrogen peroxide. Danger, 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 danger. Warning, 30% hydrogen peroxide will cause severe chemical burns and permanent eye damage, including total vision loss. Damage to property, walls, floors, plumbing is likely. Do not attempt this experiment. Danger, danger, danger. Watch this. Okay. 
kind of speaks for itself, right? That's really cool. Now that's not smoke you're seeing, that is steam. This reaction gets extremely hot. Don't do this at home. This is not something that you should do. And just watch the fun. Look at that. That's real. I think that's really cool how that works. Just the amount of oxygen being generated and how fast it's being generated. Just it's amazing to me every time I see it. Just look at look at all the soap. Look at all the soap bubbles. Now you can only imagine how good this lab smelled today. The lab smelled great. I was using lavender scented soap. It smelled like lavender. It was just beautiful. And here we go using the biological catalyst, a little bit of enzymes. Look at that. Boom. That's really cool. I love it. Look at how fast the oxygen is being generated in this reaction. Isn't that amazing, folks? All right. So that's about it for this video, guys. Hey, guys. Dr. Betts here. I want to say thank you for watching this video. I want to ask you to please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for me. Really helps me out. Really keeps me excited to make new and exciting chemistry videos for you guys. You know what? If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. I really like your feedback, so please leave me a comment below. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let me know that you appreciate what I'm doing. Or let me know what I'm doing wrong, that I could help you guys out even more. You know, and with that, I want to wish you guys good luck and good chemistry. See you next time.